What is a Bitcoin UTXO and why do they matter? Did you know that all Bitcoin wallets require a bit of management to keep your transactions cheap and private? When you hold your Bitcoin in self-custody, no one is responsible for maintaining your wallet but you. If you're not exactly sure what a UTXO is, you're probably not managing your wallet optimally. Don't worry, we are here today to walk through it. What is a UTXO? A UTXO is an acronym for Unspent Transaction Output. Although this may sound technical, don't worry, UTXOs aren't especially complicated. In fact, the world of traditional finance can provide us with some great analogies for understanding how UTXOs work. Let's start with two different mental models for storing cash, a commercial bank account and a piggy bank. With a bank account, you deposit your cash into it and it's immediately mixed with all the other cash from the bank's other customers. There might be thousands of bank customers, so it makes no sense for them to keep each person's cash in a separate pile. They combine it all and make a note of how much is yours. It makes no difference if you deposit a single $100 bill or five $20 bills. All that matters is that the total amount deposited is $100. When you try to withdraw your money, they're not going to give you the exact same bills you deposited. On the other hand, when storing your cash in a piggy bank instead of a commercial bank, there's an important difference. If you put five $20 bills into your piggy bank, the $100 worth of contents remain in that specific form, five 20s. If you take the $100 back out, you won't magically receive a $100 bill. You will, of course, still have your five 20s. Also, if you wanted to pay someone $10 out of your piggy bank, there's a problem. Your smallest bill is worth 20, so you would need to break it up into change somehow. Let's look at these mental models as they relate to Bitcoin. A commercial bank holds your cash for you, which is similar to a Bitcoin exchange holding your Bitcoin. It's all mixed together with everyone else's. Your Bitcoin is not held separately from the Bitcoin of other people using that exchange. Instead, the exchange simply notes how much Bitcoin they owe you. However, holding Bitcoin in your own wallet is more like holding cash in a piggy bank. There's a fundamental difference between depositing 0.9 Bitcoin into your wallet in one transaction and depositing 0.1 Bitcoin into your wallet nine times. Even though your wallet will show a total balance of 0.9 Bitcoin in either case, each deposit remains a separate entity. Each of these entities is a UTXO and can be thought of like the dollar bills in a piggy bank. In other words, when you make a single deposit of 0.9 Bitcoin into an empty wallet, the result is that you now have a UTXO of 0.9 Bitcoin sitting there. If you instead make nine separate deposits of 0.1 Bitcoin each, then you will have nine UTXOs totaling 0.9 Bitcoin. To help you get more hands-on with your wallet UTXOs, many wallet providers will have an advanced feature for UTXO selection, often called coin control. If the wallet application you use doesn't support UTXO selection and you really need it, you should be able to port your wallet to a different software that does have this feature. Why do UTXOs matter? If keeping the cost of transaction fees down is important to you, and so is maintaining privacy around your spending habits and wallet balances, you're going to want to familiarize yourself with UTXOs. If you don't actively manage your UTXOs, making transactions from your wallet in the future could be much more expensive than they need to be, or potentially leak certain information about your finances to the people you're transacting with. You can imagine UTXOs like bills of cash. When spending cash, you have the extra step of deciding which bills you're going to use. Likewise, when spending Bitcoin, you have the extra step of selecting UTXOs, even though you may not realize it. Many wallet providers will automatically select your UTXOs for you in the background to keep things simple. However, their process of choosing UTXOs and the resulting implications may not align with your preferences. Now that you know what a UTXO is, you can begin to learn the specifics about how they can affect privacy and transaction fees. That way you can decide how you'd like to manage your UTXOs and take full ownership over your Bitcoin. We hope you found this introduction to UTXOs helpful. If you have any questions about UTXOs that we didn't cover, let us know in the comments section below. And if this guide was helpful, please like the video and share it around, as well as subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.